What's up guys welcome back to the channel I am here with another interesting video of OnePlus Nord In this video I am going to give a detailed review about OnePlus Nord and I am going to answer the question whether Nord is a better choice in 2021 So watch till end and do not skip the video So let's get started Firstly let us unbox the OnePlus Nord and here we go Towards the top we have Nord branding and towards the side we have OnePlus and to the other side we have oneplus nord and coming to the back we have the price and other details so now coming to the price it is 27999 indian currency so now without wasting our time let's unbox this charming beast firstly when we open here we have this way nord and we can see the mobile phone right here and moving on further we have some paperwork and then when we open it, here we have the welcome letter. This is an invitation from Nord team. And moving on next, we have another compartment. Let me just open it. Here we have the SIM ejector pin and other paperwork. Let me just show you. These are Nord stickers. And next we have the quick start guide. And next we have the safety information. Next we have the Red Cable Club card. With this card one can get a 50 GB free cloud storage from OnePlus. And lastly we have a paper mentioning SAR value of Nord. Moving on next here we have the OnePlus charging cable. This is a type A to type C charging cord. And next we have a OnePlus charger. This is a 30 watts wrap charger. So let me just open the mobile. Wow, when you hold it in hand, this gives a premium feeling. Coming to the physical overview, this has a quad camera setup. This is 8 megapixel ultra wide. This is 48 megapixel main camera, 5 megapixel depth camera, and 2 megapixel macro camera. And here we can see the flash. And down here we can see the OnePlus branding. And this back is made out of Gorilla Glass 5. The back looks premium, and the frame is made out of aluminium. So now looking at the top, here we have the microphone and towards one side we have the volume rockers and moving down here we have the SIM tray, let me just open it and show you. As we all know OnePlus do not have expandable storage so this is nano micro SIM card tray which supports of two nano SIM cards. And next we have a secondary noise cancellation mic, a charging slot and then we have the speakers now coming to the other side here we have the power button and the ringer and silent switch button now coming to the front facing cameras here we have the 8 megapixel and 32 megapixel cameras and here we can see an earpiece and this has a 6.44 inches AMOLED display with 90 hertz refresh rate so now let us power on and explore the Nord everything is booted up and the mobile is on the display is marvelous as it comes with 90Hz refresh rate. Now let us hop into the settings and look at the Android version and other software information. The mobile is fully updated with the latest security patch. By default, Nord comes with Android version 10. Now let us move on to the camera settings. Coming to the camera, we have many options like video, photo, portrait, nightscape, pro, time lapse, panorama, and slow motion. And at highest, Nord can shoot up to 4K 30 FPS. And now coming to the network, it supports dual band Wi Fi. Now let me just watch something and decide the video quality of Nord. The video quality is fantastic as it comes with liquid AMOLED screen. After watching some, I played few heavy games like Asphalt 9. The performance is quite good, but yeah, some users have complained that Nord struggles with performing some 3D games like Fortnite. 
So now it's time to give you guys clear idea about purchasing Nord in 2021. So now firstly let us discuss about pros. Nord comes with 90Hz AMOLED display and it comes with 1 plus 30 watts wrap charger that gets the battery from 0 to 100% in less than an hour. And the main camera is good and it comes with 5G support. Now coming to the cons, Nord include a lack of few things like headphone jock, IP rating, wireless charging and the phone lacks a micro sim card support. And meanwhile, the main camera is good and the others are far from perfect. So if you are in market for a great camera phone, OnePlus Nord shouldn't be at the top of your list. And also some users have complained about the green screen tinting issue at low brightness levels. OnePlus originally said that the tinting issue was aspect of OLED panels and no fix was necessary. However, the company later changed its tune and said that the fix for the issue is on the way via their new software update. So now coming to the conclusion, Nord is a good choice in 2021 only if you want a OnePlus branding mobile with low budget. But in today's market, we have better choice with more powerful chipset and better features. But if you're a gamer and often play games like Fortnite on your mobile, a phone with more powerful chipset will be better because the phone struggles with certain 3D games. So now make a wise choice because earning money is not an easy thing. Hope you guys like it and if you enjoy the video a sub to the channel would be great subscribe now and press the bell icon never miss an update